37 here on a Monday now on ABC 15 update empowering hundreds of Navajo families in all senses of the word. So last week we showed you how the Navajo Nation together with utility companies like SRP is working together to connect people to the power grid and an entire globe of possibilities at the same time. Back in April, ABC News Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z did a story about a private developer bringing solar power directly to these Navajo homes. So that got me thinking in an area where an estimate one in five families is living off the grid with no electricity. I wanted to know what are officials doing on the Navajo Nation to bring this kind of green energy to their people? And I went there recently to get answers. It's an area as rugged as it is beautiful. Some of the most stunning Arizona landscape is right here on the Navajo Nation. Being outside, it's hard not to notice just the natural beauty up here. Yeah. We like it. We, we like it. You see the whole the scenery from here. It's part of the reason Ken and Susie Trevino ended up building their traditional hogan here in Bird Springs, about an hour's drive from Flagstaff. Hey! We introduced you to the Trevinos last week after they got electricity for the very first time thanks to Light Up Navajo and volunteers with SRP. But in an area larger than West Virginia, unfortunately, that's not possible for everyone. There are some homes that are located so far from a power line that it would be completely unfeasible to build it a power line to their home. Paving the way for a different kind of solution, says Denise Bicente with the Navajo Tribal Utility Authority. Around here, there's not much activity, just the way the Trevinos like it. But what there is a lot of is the sun, something not only sacred to the Navajo people and their past, but also an essential building block for their future. So what they're doing is taking the power of the sun and step by step trying to empower the entire Navajo Nation. And they're doing that one family at a time. It's all part of the NTUA's renewable solar program, which Denise says is expanding even more this year. Currently, there are three solar facilities already operational, the Cayenta 1 and Cayenta 2 solar farms and the Red Mesa Tapaha solar farm, with crews breaking ground on a fourth facility in Cameron later this year. On a recent trip to the Navajo Nation, I learned it goes beyond each individual family. In fact, Navajo officials tell me it's not only an investment for infrastructure, it's also an investment in the Navajo future. When we approach a solar project, it's done with um, a significant purpose. You know, one, it brings jobs. One, it helps maintain our electric rates. With the excess proceeds, it helps fund projects like these. So it's a continual cycle. Denise says it's also a decision that makes a lot of sense dollars and cents with the Red Mesa Tapaha solar farm exporting solar energy to other areas. And it also um, generates some revenue for the Navajo Nation. So all these um, factors is in the reason why we're um, moving into the export renewable energy um, generation business. Wow, so this could really be the start of a new business venture, so to speak. We hope so, we hope so. More than the money, Denise tells me through this project, they're not only preserving their past, they're also preserving their future at the same time. Does it feel good to be producing green energy? Um, yes, because um, the sun is such a powerful mm -hmm. um, symbol in our culture mm -hmm. that, you know, having the sun generate power for um, the benefit of the nation, you know, is certainly, it's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, so solar really serving more than one purpose. So I want you to know, I checked back in recently with Navajo officials who tell me the new solar facility in Cameron is still in the early planning stages. We'll let you know when an exact date to break ground is set. I did some more digging for you and I found out it's not free to Navajo customers. You do have to lease your residential solar units. There are also things like a monthly fee. There's an application process, taxes to consider. To read more about these projects and the potential impact for the Navajo Nation, head to the main page of abc15.com. Thank you.